giving nothing but truth. Yeah. What up, what up? This is Kanon, and I'm here on Hard Knock TV. You know what it is. And I got the album Troubadour coming out February 2009. Check it out. Uh, you know, trying to share some good music with y'all. You said you were tired. Yeah. Talk about touring with, with the Marlies mm -hmm. and how that's led up to, to the creation of, of Troubadour. Also add in there how you can tour with the Marlies and be smoke free. <laughs> that's funny, dude. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I so I started to tour with the Marlies because uh, when me and Damien first started touring, and uh, we toured around the world together when Welcome to Jamrock came out, um, and uh, and so people were checking for for the connection strongly everywhere we went. He tell you the same thing. It's never been the same with another artist uh, like when me and the Marlies tour together. It, and it's never, they tell me it's never been the same for them. The, the, the music, something about it works together really well. And Steven used to say, when people would call me like the opening act, he'd be offended. And he'd say, man, Canaan ain't no opening act. Canaan is, he, he'd say, Canaan is the sunrise and we're the sunset. And so that's a beautiful way to put it, you know. And, and that's really the sunrise and the sunset show was how we toured the world. We did a lot of the U.S., you might have seen us. And, um, and we, we stayed a strong connection. Those guys really treat me like family. You know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm one of the few, privileged to say, few artists in the world to have not only recorded in Bob's house, but to also be able to clear some Bob Marley songs, son. You know, like who can clear a Bob Marley tune? I can't. Um, you'll hear a song I just did. I sampled a Bob Marley song. Crazy. And um, anyway, that's because that's family. And, um, and we, we stay really tight. And, uh, you know, touring together for a long time now. And uh, people know this is an interesting fact. Um, I don't smoke. I never have in my life. Um, I look high, don't I? Like, I look like a mess, right? It's, it's true, I always look like a mess. And I, I look very high, and I am. But I never ever smoked in my life. I've never done any kind of a drug in my life. I've never drank in my life. I don't, I'm not saying smoking herb is a drug. Whatever it is, I am not. Um, my people smoke. And... Uh, you know, we're on a tour together and the whole thing is very, very smoky. We're on a, like a cloud. <laughs> Whenever. But, like Damien would say, like, how come you stay more high than everybody else? <laughs> you know, and people can't believe it, man. When they see photos of me or interviews, they're like, man, that, he is on, like, he's flying. I am, but on life, you know. Like, I have a certain appreciation for life that just keeps me like this. Like, I feel like there's a, a liquid, uh, the liquid measure of happiness that I have. Um, I can't say I, I'm not depressed sometimes. I just don't do anything outside of music that will make me feel better about my life. I just do music, and that makes me feel really good. I've never smoked in my life either, so no? I, I needed to ask that too. I mean, I feel like I have you know, my biggest, so many hip hop. I had concerts. a kid once say to me a long time ago, um, I had a kid actually say to me, <laughs> hey man, he's a friend of mine, like, he's of course a lot older now and, and whatever, but he said the funniest thing to me, I can never get it out of my head. He was, he, he was like this, <sighs> yo, canine. And I was like, oh, yo, I don't smoke. I mean, we might, I think we were like 17, 18 at the time. I'm like, I don't smoke. And we are like in a metro housing in the stairwell with like a hundred kids, you know, everybody trying to be a thug. And I'm standing there like the only guy who doesn't smoke. And I'm like, I don't smoke. And he says, what? You don't smoke? I was like, no. Oh. He's like, but I thought you wanted to be a rapper. <laughs> he was so hurt. He was like, I thought you, it's never going to work out now. <laughs> like, 
Um, yeah, yeah. So whatever. I mean, it's it's my life. Is I've never also I've never drank alcohol in my life. I don't. I've never actually tasted alcohol, and so I keep myself the channels. I keep it. I keep it pure. Because I don't want no, nothing ever to take away from my natural high. I feel like if you ever, <clears throat> if you ever have felt the way I feel with your natural high, right? I feel like if you do anything to disturb it, like intoxicating things, then I don't think you could ever go back to this. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't want to risk it. What, what would you say, without getting on too far of a tangent, but yeah. what would you say to people that they're, that are saying that there's other planes to be reached True. with the enhancement right. of... That's I mean, this is an argument that I get because I, I get the same, the same yeah. idea, which is, you know, you can get high off life. And, and when you're in tune with that, yeah. when you can find that place, to me, I would imagine maybe it's similar to what they're doing. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know because yeah, I never smoked. Don't know, right. well, well, the truth is that I, I know people say, you know, you could reach other... Uh, places, you know, like if you if you smoke, I got friends who say to me they not trying to get me to smoke because they just know I know who I am. But they they say to me, man, if you write like this, I wonder what you would write if you smoked. And I always find that kind of funny because I write like I smoke. There's nothing else to to go. Where where else is it gonna take me? Like I mean, it, it, does a smoker write better? Like can a, can a lyricist overtake him because he smokes? I I can't. I can't imagine that. The, the truth is that I can go to any plane, any field in my creative world and my, like this sphere, I can go anywhere. That you can go if you smoked, if you did anything. You don't know where I could go and I don't know where you could go. And at the end of the day, I like to keep it that way. Stay tuned, this is the game of life, and these are the cards I've been dealt. Give you the real deal, live footage that you can feel for yourself. It's uncut and raw, get over border since before the new world was in order. Embedded in places you dreaded and never thought of. The corners, the streets, and projects, the one-bedroom apartments, the hood. I'm the voice for all of y'all misunderstood. It's because I'm hip-hop, maybe I was born from the struggle. Hustle and hover above the earth, observe the concrete jungle. And expose all lives. It will be televised. For the block, it's all lives. It will be televised. Revolution of the mind. It will be. It will be. Giving nothing but truth.